Chizayon, Revelation 14. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of kitharists playing with their kithara, And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne, and before the four living creatures, and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goes. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting Besarah, to preach unto them that dwelleth on the earth, and to eth every nation, and kindred, and tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear eth Yahweh, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth, and eth the sea, and the fountains of waters. And there followed another angel, saying, Babel is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations to drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends up forever and ever. And they have no rest day or night, rather day nor night, who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receives the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the Kodeshim. Here are they that guard at the commandments of Yahuwah, and at the belief of Yahusha. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in Yahuwah from henceforth. Yea, says the Ruach, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the son of Adam, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice, to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in your sickle and reap, for the time has come for you to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle, and another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in your sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth, and gathered the vine of the earth, and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of Yahuwah. And the winepress was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the winepress, 
even unto the horse bridles, by the space of a thousand and six hundred stadion.